Hey, what's up guys? This is Junior from Pulse Audio. Welcome to our review channel where we're gonna be showing you guys uh, each product that we get in and we're gonna be doing reviews on them. Now, this right here is a product that was brought to us by the app box. Appreciate you guys, by the way. It's a 12 inch screen and this screen right here uh, will give you the availability of being able to use Netflix, YouTube, Google, and all that good stuff on here. You can do Video Prime, uh, you can watch games. Uh, let me show you guys how to set it up and how to get it going. Okay guys, now that we got it set up, let me go ahead and show you guys on the Netflix. So, let's go ahead and click on play. Pretty fast, like we said. It's a tremendous product, we love it. Look how clear it looks. You guys gotta come and play with this thing here in, in person. Now let me go ahead and show you guys YouTube. All right guys, now we're in YouTube. Let's go ahead and see how fast it picks up. And this is with about six of us on the Wi-Fi. We got a couple of TVs playing Roku. Uh, a couple of guys using the computers in the back. It's not doing bad with everybody on the internet. Check that out. This is just like using your phone. All right guys, that was a quick explanation about how the YouTube worked. Now we're gonna go back to the settings and show you guys how to set up the Wi-Fi. It's super easy, it's just like an Android setup. Go to the Wi-Fi, obviously it's already set up to the shop. So you'll see it on here, already set up, connected. That's pretty much it. A whole lot more settings that you guys can play with. Now the buttons down here, let's go ahead and explain that. This one takes you back. This one right here takes you to the home screen. This one right here takes you to the uh, open apps. You close them. This one right here is the settings. Uh, what does the settings do? You get to control the light down here. You can actually change the colors to whatever color you guys want. This one over here is to do the brightness. This is an FM transmitter. So if you turn this on and you put a radio station on your vehicle and you match the one that's right here, it'll play through there. Then over here we have the volume. This thing gets pretty loud. We'll show you guys in a second. And then the last one was the brightness for the whole display. This one just hides these buttons. All right guys, this is a full 360 look on how it looks once it's mounted onto the headrest. It has a super clean look to it and it's heavy duty, nice and sturdy. And I'll go ahead and show you guys that here in just a sec. All right guys, now what I recommend this product to you. Before we get there, the guys want me to hurry the hell up because they're trying to get their podcast going. So just stay tuned right after this video. Their podcast is gonna continue. Watch it. Yes, the answer is yes. Three reasons why. Reason number one is quality. The quality behind it is amazing. Um, it's got very, very good resolution. It's kind of like watching TV at my house, man. I, I love it. Super, super clear. Uh, I have this in my personal vehicle. I definitely recommend it over. Uh, reason number two, the speed. The speed behind it is tremendously great. As long as your hotspot and your internet, whatever internet you have on it, as long as you can keep up with it, it's good, no issues. Third one, heavy duty. I know at some point my kid is gonna wanna grab this thing and try to pull it, but it's pretty, pretty heavy duty. Unless he really wants it off, he will get it off. But for the most part, I don't think you'll run into an issue with that. You can bump into it, you can smack it, you can hit it, and it's just fine. No issues whatsoever. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the podcast. <coughs> That's a good part. Hey, let me call you back. I'm doing a podcast. Bye. That was gangsta. Come on now. That, that, that was whack. That shit was hard. What is going on, guys? <laughs> Eli here, and welcome to our first episode of Back in the Days. I with my two co-hosts, Freddie and Angel. Yes, sir. And what's going to be the first topic of the day? Well, actually, before we get into the topic, let's introduce ourselves to the people. Take off. Go ahead. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I'm 20 years old. I work at Post Audio. I've been working here for about 
five years, going on six now. So give or take, yeah. Uh-huh. About and around there. yeah, we're doing this podcast to kind of educate you guys on some stuff and show you guys about us. So I'm 20 as well. I've uh, been here for three years almost. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about our roles here? You can say that, yeah. 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 So I'm the audio technician here. And then also, you know, I'm the one that does all the videos. The one behind, not behind the camera today, but uh, mostly all the time behind the camera. Shout yourself out, a.k.a. Clip Cut Action. Clip Cut Action. Cut action. Follow yes, my boy on Instagram. Yep. I'm 26. My name is Angel. I've been here for five years. About the same time Eli's been here, around there. He beat me by a week. Take. He was here. A yeah, week later. yeah, that's true, because you were still in school at the time. Right? No, it was summer. No, true. Summer. You got hired. Let's continue. Okay, sorry. No, that's true. Well, we're trying to, you know, keep going. You know, you don't have to cut <laughs> me off, sir. No, but I'm the audio tech. Also, I pretty much do a, lot of, a little bit of everything, but he knows more than I do as far as suspension. And I got to give it to him. This man knows a lot. Um, but let's jump right into it. I want to let's talk about the UFC real quick. Okay. You know, just real quick. Yeah. Cause it's very interesting. Cause Robbie Lawler was supposed to fight. You know, Robbie Lawler, right? Oh yeah. You know, right? <laughs> well, Robbie Lawler, he was supposed to fight and he got canceled. I haven't done the research on why, but he got canceled. He was supposed to I, fight Santiago. Brazilian. He may have gotten injured though. Cause his opponent is still fighting. No, uh, Santiago is still fighting. Yeah. yeah. He's got a new opponent. Got yeah. His new opponent is Alex. Morono and they fight. Oh, this is yeah, actually no, no. going to happen tomorrow. No, you're thinking of Brennan. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> this is going to happen tomorrow. But some names that I have seen on here is Darren Till. Darren Till's fighting. Mm. Oh, I don't know him. Darren Till's fighting. Patty's fighting. Patty Bell? I, I, no, Patty Bell. I go for I go for Patty. I don't know why. Patty the Batty. Yeah, he's 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 cold. He's yeah. I, I, I can't lie. He's good. Now the light heavyweight division is the main event. I don't really know these guys that well. But I heard it was going to be a very interesting little fight. So I guess we'll see what happens. I'm going to watch the fights, and that po- next podcast we'll bring it back up, and I'll, mm-hmm. I'll see you know, what I saw. I'll tell everybody. Who's the lightweight? Jan. I don't know how to say his last okay. name. And then Magomed is Khabib? the opponent. And I, I feel like he might be like Khabib's people. Russian? Yeah, but I'm not too sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys, but <laughs> that's – yeah, I'm not too sure. And – we did talk about the last the last time, right? The last UFC fights. Yeah, we did talk about those already. Uh-huh. So this is going to be very interesting. I want to see who wins in all these fights. So I might watch it. Yeah, I know nobody. Israel, Adebaya. Adebaya. Adesanya. <laughs> Adesanya. He says Adebaya. The last, the last out. But speaking of, he's really good. But he lost to the guy that he lost two years back. Yeah, that's That's tough. the third time they fought. And he got whooped. I don't what? know, bro. I wonder what it is, though. But have you watched all fights? Not every all. single one? I saw the first one, and he, he got knocked out on the first one. Yeah. Like, he got slept. But did you, like, see the fight before? What you mean? All the rounds? How the they rounds? were going? Yeah, yeah, I saw. I saw it was going. It was. I think it was one-sided. If you ask me. The first me. one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you ask me, it was one-sided all the way through. Second fight was, you know, a bit better. And then the third fight was like the first one, <laughs> one sided kind of. Well, no, he did good on this last fight, bro. But that's how I know you didn't watch it. What's his name? <laughs> what's his name? Alex. Fair. Yeah, yeah, he's he's actually really good. Bro, you know the fight? second fight? Uh huh. He was dominated. Israel, is he? He was dominated the whole time, and then uh-huh. he got he just got checked. Third yeah. fight, bro. He was winning all five rounds. Oh, you are right. Or four rounds. No, no, yeah. no, you're right. I saw the highlights. He was winning all five yeah. rounds, and he just got hit with the lucky punch. And got knocked out. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> you see, that's why I like the UFC, because anything can happen at any time. And you can take people down. You, it's more exhausting. Yep. Within, and it's just five minutes, bro. Think about it. Not five really. minutes flies by. No, but I'm talking about each round. Oh, each round, each round. Each round is five minutes, and it's like five minutes flies by, you know? But you're moving, bro. You're throwing punches. You're you're weaving. You're picking dudes up. Like you you're yeah. doing all this other stuff. By the end of the round, if your cardio ain't there, you're not winning that fight at all. That's just me being honest. Yeah, that's a good question. So what about here? Who do you think you could beat? That was a UFC champion. Easy, 
No, nah, not easy for me. I'm lying. Easy. I'm lying. Ain't nothing I'm easy. lying. Ain't nothing. I'll probably get knocked. My I'll, I'll probably get knocked out. Honestly. And don't you say John Jones. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no. Chuck Liddell. I would love to fight Chuck Liddell. I grew like when I was watching UFC back then, back in the days. Back in the days. When I used to watch it back in the days, it was the Chuck Liddell, Tito Ortiz era. You era. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. When they were on top, and but Chuck Liddell was always beating him. Like mm-hmm. he was, he was just better, in my opinion. Chuck, no offense to Tito. Tito's good too. But Chuck Liddell, I feel like I would want to fight him only because it would be fireworks all the way through. I'll try to hit him as hard as I can. But at the end of the day, I'll probably get slept. <laughs> bro, he would just oh, keep yeah. throwing and throwing and throwing. Fuck yeah, dude. All I didn't the really time. see him as a skilled fighter, bro. He just he would just hit. He just throw, yeah, he would just throw punches. Throw better. punches. He yeah. tried that with Rashad Evans one time. But Rashad oh, yeah. Evans knocked him out. Rashad caught him. That's yeah. skill. Yeah, that skill versus just throwing. Skill over power. Yeah. Facts. Mm-hmm. But plus, Chuck, he was starting to get older already, you know? Yeah. He was already, yeah. like, in his 34 or something, something like that. Something like that. Beat. Something like that. But, yeah, he did retire already. So. Oh, he's, and he didn't even retire that long ago, bro, a couple years ago. I know. <laughs> hey, versus uh, Tito, again. Mm-hmm. It was, like, the fourth fight. Yeah. That, those were good fights. Those were good fights. But Chuck is just a bigger guy, dude. Tito. He's, but Tito is a way bigger guy. He's taller. And but I feel like. Bigger. I don't know why. I feel like. Chuck is bigger, in my opinion. Like, probably because you're more scared of him than Tito. <laughs> probably because I see a lot of fights and I see the yeah. outcome, so I was like, yeah. No, but um, nah, shout out to both guys, real good fighters in those days. Now it's a whole different, it's a whole new yeah. era. You got new people, you got strong ass people. You know, it's a new uh, artist. kick now. Well, you know, it's a new uh, signature that everybody does now. What the calf kicks? Oh hell yeah! Right. Back then, oh. nobody did them. Nobody, nobody was did really doing them, yeah, you at right. all. Michael Bisping is saying that um, he said his whole career he never went through one calf kick at all. Yeah, which is crazy. That is crazy. And now people use that every time. Every time. and it's a good technique to use because mm-hmm. once you mess that leg up, bro, mm-hmm. especially That's if it's, it. if it's your back leg, much. yeah, if it's your back leg, you don't have power behind it anymore because your leg is already cramped. Mm-hmm. So you try to throw a power shot, you probably can get some power out of it, but. It's not, not really? gonna be, and even if you try to use though. the other one, like say you try to use your other leg because this one's weak, uh-huh. like it's gonna hurt to stand on it and throw that hard kick. Exactly. Like what's a, what's a good example? Uh, Aldo, right? Jose. Jo- yeah, Jose Aldo, where they pronounce it Jose, Jose. Aldo. Uh, he did that to uh, Uriah Faber. He kept kicking that leg, bro. Mm-hmm. And then at the end of the fight, this dude's leg was like swollen and purple and all kinds of shit. And I was like, God. Damn. Mm-hmm. I was like, I could only imagine like that pain. I don't think I could stand that pain, honestly. Yeah. I'd be like, God damn, bro. Like, what this nigga fuck my leg This today, guy fucked my leg up. Uh did I tell you what happened today? The damn um I was over here trying to loosen something <laughs> and then the uh-huh. wrench, because it's the uh, the drill was just going like that, 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 and then it goes dang. Mm. So it was doing that, and I was trying to get a better grip. So as soon as I let go, it went full force and hit me right in the eye. Man. That's uh, how I knew I couldn't make it in the UFC. <laughs> I was already knocked out. I was like, oh, God. Oh, dude. What was that? Nice. It hurt. Uh, I, you see a little bruise right here. It hurt. Damn, dude. Oh, what about you? Who do you think you'll fight? Beat. Uh, yeah, champion. As a UFC champion. He said nobody. I got uh, a good one for him, actually. Six months of training. Oh. For you. <laughs> well, Damn. maybe 12 for you. <laughs> <laughs> a whole year. Give him a whole year. <laughs> more than 12. <laughs> uh, he needs 24 months. Know. Be honest, I don't really know like the division. You don't know anybody. No. Not like that. Well, okay, if you chose for him, what would be a good fight that you would want to see him in? Maybe. Honestly, honestly. No, not Nadia's. No, 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 no. Not Nadia's. You ever heard of the Stockton slap? I think Stockton that's what he called slap. Stockton that's what slap. He doing. Bro, he just smacks you. He did that to Connor. He did that to everybody he is for. Everybody he fights. Yeah. Now I think <laughs> <laughs> it would probably be like it had to be like a Roy Nelson. Or something. Roy Nelson. Mark Hunt. Hunt. Damn, bro. Mark Hunt. Oh, hey, but they're not a champion. But, nah, you can't uh, fight a champion. You don't got a chance against him. <laughs> Matt we'll Sarah. Matt Sarah is a good one. He was a champion for like yeah, a he fight. Was a good one. Until he ran into George St. Pierre. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That See, good. that's why I like the UFC. I know I said that before, but it's like you got a champion and it's like they rule for a long time and then boom. This is what I was trying to say. This is how you know how competitive the heavyweight division is. Yeah. You know, it's only been like, you know how they got to defend their titles? Mm-hmm. You know, like, I think Kamara defended it like five times or whatever. 
and that's not even the the record in the UFC. It's like twelve times, and in heavyweights, it's only been like two times where champions won back to back. Yeah, and then it's always a new champ, a new champion. Only two times. That's a record in the heavyweight. That's true. So if you're a heavyweight, yeah, you're you win right. two times, and then you got to lose your next fight. That's you know how what? competitive yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, you are right. Because Brock Lesnar, when he joined, he defended his title twice, and then lost the third time to Cain mm-hmm. Velasquez. Cain Velasquez defended it twice and then lost. That's crazy. Now that it's you say it, it's only been two times, bro. Yeah. That's it. That's, I think that's, that's Francis weird. might win it. Francis from Ireland, he bro. He might keep going. Isn't it? He's the hardest puncher. One? Yeah, and he's the hardest puncher Stipe? in the division. I don't. I forgot who he fought, and then he. Fought Cyril, Cyril gone. Mm. And supposedly he's gonna fight John Jones. Ooh. But I don't know but, if you heard John know. Jones. He's been like talking some shit about the UFC. Really? Yeah. Somewhat. He's just mm. been like, I ain't trying to fight anytime soon. They don't want to pay me enough for what I'm worth. Yeah. I ain't going back there. I ain't in no rush. He's probably leave. he's probably gonna sign somewhere else. Honestly, I go to one, one or Bellator. Bell- one? A lot of people go to Bellator too. So yeah, I heard about one. That's one crazy. One is pre- one's pretty cool though. Uh, is it? Um, what's Demetrius his name? Johnson. Yeah, Demetrius Johnson is there. He's a champion. Yeah, he, he beat the guy that beat him when he first got there. Yeah, the same way that he got beat with a knee to the yeah, face. Knee. Yeah, with a knee to the face. I remember, and his hand was down because he thought it was going to be. Legal. Yeah, I remember that he got to the They do it to where if you have your hand on the floor, they can't knee you to the face. Yeah, or kick you. And in one. How do they do it? They do like one round Taekwondo, the other one Jiu Jitsu, so it's different rules. Yeah. And Demetrius, you know, his UFC kicked in because he was yeah. on the floor, so he had his hand on the floor. Yeah. And then the guy was right there, so he kneed him in the face. You could do it in one. Yeah. And then it got him knocked out. <coughs> yeah, but he took that out. Like, he, he took he it. like a champ. Yeah, he didn't say, oh, oh well, he need me. He didn't make, he didn't <laughs> complain about it. He, he actually took the L and then went back and got the, the belt back. And right now, if I'm not mistaken, he still holds it, right? Right now, yeah. He still he's holds it, right yeah. He's he's a good fighter, bro. He's a really good fighter. And you know who actually got stronger and better? Henry Cejudo. He's fought? Well, no, I'm just saying, like, before. Like, remember how he used to fight? Was it he, didn't he fight Demetrius Johnson? He's the one that beat him, bro. But he was trying to get the, the belt beforehand, and he couldn't. Like, Demetrius Johnson would beat him, and then he finally beat him. Yeah, Dem- the Demetrius and Cejudo fought. He lost, and then mm-hmm. uh, I think in a couple of years they got a rematch, and then he won again. Yeah, but the UFC was trying to get rid of Demetrius for the longest. Yeah, they're saying he was Told boring in that division. They're even trying to take out that division. It's because he was on top for a while. For the longest. Yeah, for a while, and it's like, bro, you couldn't find anybody. And there was the other guy. Um, I forgot his name. He was in that same division, but I think he. I don't know if he got kicked out of the UFC or he just. I don't know what happened, but he went somewhere else. I, I got to remember his name. I, I don't yeah. know it off the top of my head like that. But don't you think it's going to be kind of boring? What division is Poirier, Chandler, and all them in? Isn't that uh, Featherweight? Nah. I don't no, right? so. no, no. Featherweight's too small. But don't you think that, that division is going to start bro. getting... Yeah, it is welterweight. It's welterweight. Bro. I think so. Don't you think that division is going to start getting boring because it's going to be the same people on top? They're just gonna have to keep fighting each other over and over, over and over and over again. You got like the same five people. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, Dana White needs to do what he did before. He needs to go find fighters, uh, unless he still does it now. But looking for a fight, yeah, that, that thing. Mm-hmm. When he, yeah, exactly. He finds prospects coming up. And stuff. That's how he found Sean O'Malley. Yeah, and he's good. Mm. He's really good, actually. I like that guy. He's really good. He's really yeah. good. And then. Ronda Rousey was good at one point. Oh, at one point, good and, for a little bit. Yeah, and then she got knocked out, and she came back, Fresh and then got knocked the out again. <laughs> like, yeah, she got knocked out by um, Holly, Holmes, Holly Holmes, and then she got knocked out by the Lioness. And I think mm-hmm. that after that, she stopped the UFC. Right, like she does. Yeah, now she does movies. On WWE. Yeah, she does WWE's movies she's and a stuff champion like that. WWE. What do you think she could be a champion about? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, she's in a good movie. She's in the fa- one of the Fast and Furious movies. Oh, yeah. As a oh, yeah, yeah. She's fighting that yeah, one girl. Fast nine. Yeah. Where she's uh the building? Yeah, she's evil or whatever. She's on the bad side and she's yeah. fighting Is she fighting uh, Letty? She's fight- yeah, yeah, yeah. She's Letty. fighting Letty, yeah. yeah, she's fighting Letty. That's pretty lit. It's, That's a it's good her movie. And John Cena with the uh, Oh you right. Toretto and Letty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're her right. and John Cena? John Cena was in the movie? Wait, was yeah. it John Cena? Yeah. With John Cena? Yeah, yeah, yeah. John Cena is Toretto. Oh, brother. Yeah, yeah Toretto's oh. brother, bro. Tom's brother. Yeah. It, it was cool because he has a, I think he had like a 5.0 or GT350. Yeah, GT, GT350. 
GT350 GT500. 500, one of those, and then you got Toretto chasing him in a Hellcat. Hellcat. That was hey, clean, bro. bro. He couldn't give up. He couldn't, bro. <laughs> yeah, he was gone at first, but then he caught, he caught up. Yeah, and then he did that cliff jump. Yeah, he did a that cliff jump. That was crazy. And they exploded the bridge. Mm-hmm. Hmm. They exploded the bridge so he doesn't get over there. But you know Toretto. Family. <laughs> <laughs> he he launched that thing. He put NOS and everything and just, just sent it. the whole yeah. entire Hellcat just flew in the air. And I'm like, I know this is just a movie, but damn, at least give me that car, bro. Like, yeah. Man, you going to just crash Fuck it and it just let it be? Hell yeah. Like, damn, bro. Mm-hmm. It's a good movie, bro. Overall, that's a really good it movie. It was a pretty good movie. And, and, and like how Gilbert had mentioned before, they do too much now, but they kind of make up for it in some of that action. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. me thinking Fast and the Furious, I'm thinking nothing but street racing. You know what it's I mean? The same thing over and over and over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and they I, I get it, they had to switch it up a little bit, so they started adding some action into it. But with cars all at the same time, it kind of brings me like memories of I don't know if you ever played it. It's a game where you drive in a car but you got guns on your shit. Have you seen the movie Death Race? Mad Max. Yeah. Yeah, so similar to that. Yeah, like Death Race and Mad Max. That's kind of like what it brings to me. But obviously they don't have guns coming out of their cars. Yeah. But it's good movies. I like them. I, like I never really was like a big fan of Fast and Furious. I kind of like the one where it had that hillbilly kid. And oh, you're Japan talking about Tokyo, Tokyo Drift? Oh, Tokyo. Yeah, 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 Tokyo, Tokyo Drift. Drift. That was a good one. I like that was, one. He was in Fast and Nine. Yeah, he was. Oh, he was. Oh, yeah, yeah at the yeah, very yeah. end, no? Yeah, yeah he was with the. Movie. He was with. Yeah, they're like nerds, bro. And they built. They built the rocket. Han? Wait, he was in there. That's the Karate yeah. Kid. What about Han? <laughs> yeah, Han was in there. He stayed alive. Han was in it, and and he dies in that movie. But now but in this new lie. movie, yeah, and the new movie that's about to come out. Supposedly he lied about his death so he could escape the the guy. Or something like that, yeah. But his girl actually did die. But yeah, his girl. girl did die. And the plane, yeah, I guess she um she she was trying to hold on, right? And like she couldn't she anymore and then she just let go. You know, Fast Five, right? Or I think it was after. Fast Five, yeah, something Shit. like that. Yeah, I remember that. But he, he is alive and Letty and Toretto's sister find him because they're somewhere in, in Tokyo in Tokyo and they're getting shot at or they get confronted by somebody and he snipes them from a distance and they don't know where he's at. And so they turn around and they show a scene where he's like right there with a sniper and he just looks up at them and they recognize that it's him or whatever. Oh, shit. And then they go back to the warehouse. Everybody's doing their thing. And you know how he's always with those chips in his hand or whatever? M&M's. Yeah, he's eating them. He's like... This is a nice spot. And everybody's like, like, they recognize his voice. So they're like, yeah. the, we're just supposed to be dead? Like, what the hell? Yeah. But I want to see that movie. I feel like that one's going to be a good movie. And I heard it was the last one. I heard, but I'm not sure. Ten. You know, yeah. when uh, when he was like a young actor, he had like an addiction. Like, you know how me, like bottle caps or bubble gum mm-hmm. in my mouth. Him, he always had to do something with his hand, have something in his hands when he's recording. As he was acting, yeah. So when he was young, well, not like young, young, but like mm-hmm. early 20s. He would always have a cigarette. He yeah. wouldn't even smoke it that much. He would just have it there. He always had to have like a cigarette lit or something. In every scene. I, I remember something he like did that. talk about that. And then they were talking about it in Tokyo. They didn't want him to be smoking. Yeah. So he was like, well, I need something in my hand. Yeah. So literally, <laughs> he got it from like the sound guy or something. Mm-hmm. He got the their M&Ms. And then yeah, he, was he was just, just chilling them. in the car and he started eating them. Yep, that is true. That's it. Which is cool. It, it fits him so yeah, well. It does fit. It fits his it character. It fits him bro. so good. It fits. I, I feel like that's his way of like. I'm not recording a movie. This is just me. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's just him feeling himself. Speaking which is cool. That, I left the M and M's at the concert. I just thought about that. I saw. Him. Oh, how was we the went, concert? Yeah, we, we just went fact. to the Rod Wave concert last night in yeah. Huntington. No, forward, forward, forward. Dickies Arena. Dickies uh-huh. Arena. It was nice. Nice. Yeah, it, it was easy to get in and out though, right? Yeah. It was really easy to get in from driving into the parking lot to getting food to sitting down in our seats. It took the us like a total time well. of 20 minutes. The check-in as well. 20 minutes compared 20 to when minutes. we went compared to when we went to Kevin Hart. Oh my god. My god, it took like 30 minutes to park. Right. We couldn't even get food like like easily. Oh, yeah, we did. You know what I mean? We couldn't get food like that. And then to leave, Jesus. I got lost. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, yeah I, I was lost. the only one that weren't with y'all. Oh, yeah, that's true. You were with Carlos. You were with Carlos. Oh, no, 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 no. You're right. You're right. You're right. It was the three of us, and he was by himself. Where did you go, bro? Because we were all leaving, and you were right behind me. And when I turned around, I didn't see you anymore. So I thought you passed me. So I catch up to him and Carlos, and they're like, where's Eli? I was like, bro, he was right behind me. I thought he was with y'all. 
And we yeah. tried, we even walked backwards to try to find you. Oh, really? And we couldn't find you, so we were like, you know what? Let's go to the parking lot. He might just be over there. Yeah, no, I was the last there. one because Kevin Hart was saying some things about thanks, Dallas, or whatever. Mm-hmm. He was saying something, and then that's when um, I went to go tie my shoes. I was tying uh, my shoes, and then I, I felt unbalanced, so I just taught the other one. I was tying the other <laughs> one. And then I look up, and then I don't see y'all. <laughs> and I'm looking, and then... <laughs> I saw, like, a couple people walking to the hallway, <coughs> yeah. but they blocked it off. They said, well, now the other people, they have to go downstairs. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, they probably went downstairs. So I go downstairs, and I'm looking, I'm looking, nowhere. Nothing. And then that's when I'm like, okay. And I couldn't even call y'all. Oh, yeah, our phones were in a pouch. They were locked. Oh, that was annoying, dude. So I was waiting in this big-ass line, and then mm-hmm. I just got it finally, and I kept calling and calling, and nobody was answering. I was like, God. I don't even yeah. know where I was at. And so <laughs> we were on the whole other side. I exited on the whole other side of the stadium. So but you walking. did exit quicker, though, because we literally had to walk all, oh, yeah. all the way around I the venue. I got there way before y'all. Yeah, we had to walk all the way around the venue. You know how we did that long walk, that long-ass walk? I'm talking about we all the way around. It we had to walk back. it backwards, bro. And then on top of that, dude, exiting, right, the stairs. You're talking about it was barely moving. And then we finally stepped Step outside. Out there was one guy just unlocking the pouches. Bro. There's just one guy? One guy. Where I was at, there was three, but, man, it was annoying because they would be, like, talking to each other. Yeah. And then they would do it. And then they will be doing it. And then, be doing it. And then <laughs> after, we got, after we got out, right, we ran to the cars to try to get out as soon as possible. Man, that was just a nightmare. It took so long. It was a nightmare. Me and Carlos, we literally went downstairs to go walk again. Yeah. We walked around a couple of times, looked at a couple of things. We went up, and y'all were still in the same spot. Yeah, dude. We did not long. move. And I swear, I was literally, because I have the app box, right, mm-hmm. in my in my car. Sponsored by app box. Yeah, sponsored by app box. You know what Shout out to them. Um, but I have it in my car, and I told Freddie, I was like, bro, we're going to be here for a while. I'm going to just put a movie. And he was like, why not, you know? Fuck yeah. it. Literally, as soon as I'm about to put the movie, bro. Everything started moving. <laughs> I I said, forget this. I put it in drive, and I was cutting people <laughs> off because they were trying to cut me off. I was like, no, uh, uh-uh. uh. And I was getting in the way, and there, there was a specific way to exit. You were supposed to go straight, left, right. I went straight where everybody else was going because <laughs> it was a quicker way to get out. So we went straight all the way, then left, then exit instead of having to go left, right, left, mm-hmm. and all this other stuff. And we ended up getting out. And then there was this other guy in another Charger, right, Challenger. He was trying to get in my lane. I was trying to get in his lane. And we recognized it. And then we were just we just knew what's up, bro. I was like, he goes. And he let me cut in, and he cut into mine. So that's uh, how we ended up leaving. But, yeah, it, bro, yeah. That was in American Airlines. That was a good show, though. It was, it was hilarious, bro. I really like the, the, the littler guys. The, the, the one with the Hawaiian shirt? Yeah, yes, he was bro. funny. He was hilarious. Was hilarious. So was the was other hilarious. guy where he was like, I'm going to hurry up because I know you ain't, you ain't come here for me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Smokey something. You know? Yeah, I remember like that. Because I'm going to make mine quick because I know y'all ain't come to see me. <laughs> yeah, I remember that, bro. That was hilarious. I didn't even know he, they had guests for like comedian shows. Yeah, yeah they, they do. They, tip, they typically do because, I mean, obviously Kevin Hart can't hold that many. I mean, I'm sure he can have that many jokes. But it's, it's only like, an hour. yeah, he has it for an hour, and I'm sure you could stand there for an hour. But same time, it's like you got to promote other other so artists. Did we get to like what seven thirty and we left at ten thirty? Around there, it's yeah. like two hours. Yeah, but most of that was leaving, yeah. <laughs> leaving that place. Like damn, nah, but that was a good show, good experience too. How was a uh, Kid Cudi and Tom Tolliver concert? That was lit. Was yeah. it? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, we didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> I bought the tickets. Yeah. We just didn't go. Why didn't we go? Why didn't uh, we go? Because we were busy at work. Yeah, we were busy. Oh, that is true. It was whenever yes. we were off. It was my week off, and then... I remember. We were, we're busy, really busy here. We didn't leave till 11 or 10. Yeah, that is we true. Here till 10 I remember. I called y'all. And, and y'all were and we, were, we, were to, we were trying to finish whatever we were doing as fast as we it could. It was a funeral event. Mm-hmm. We were doing the strobe lights. Oh, and I think what messed us up was troubleshooting. Because one of the lights wasn't working, and, and at the end of the day, we had to get a whole new light, the little strobe light, because that one, ha- the one that was in there, had went out. I don't know how, but it just went out, and that's what held us back. And at the end of the day, it was already late, hmm. so we were like, "Damn." Like, mm. What's your most annoying thing at the shop that you hate troubleshooting? Annoying thing that you hate, hate troubleshooting a remote start. You hate troubleshooting this. Or... 
If I'm gonna be honest, radio. If I'm gonna be honest, I think I, I think, don't mind. I think a system, bro, but not not no subwoofer. I'm talking about, about like yeah, DSP <laughs> when it has all that, and you wired everything correctly, but something doesn't work, or you got an engine noise. Yeah. And it's like, what is it? You know, then I mean? you got to go back and retrace your steps, and oh, that's annoying, bro. Because it what can is take engine forever. Noise? Engine noise is whenever. Okay, all the doors are closed, right? Uh huh. And windows up. Uh, windows closed. up. Everything. Everything has to be closed. Basically, you got to be suppressed. Is that to no. test whenever you have A and C? Well, no, that's A and C, and uh, and engine noise are two different things. Um, engine noise is more on the engine side. Whenever you, know? you press. Oh uh, no no no. Yeah, whenever you rev it, whenever you rev it up, you get a, like a little whining noise, and it gets, it gets annoying, even if you turn the volume down. Kind of like a turbo? Yeah, so if you even if you mute your radio, thinking that it might be coming out of the radio, you still hear it. Yeah. It's coming out of the speakers because something, either the four channel or wires pinched. It could be anything at that point. And then A and C, the one that you mentioned earlier, that's whenever um, vehicles have mics. Like, these newer ones have, like, more than one mic, surprisingly. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. They have, like, two, three, four mics. And when they have that many mics, some of them are in the back, but you don't see them. Yeah. Or they're in the front, but they catch the woofer signal, and it repeats it to you. But it also does it with the RPMs, which is really weird. Mm -hmm. So it does the RPM, and if you go over two, 2K on RPMs, yeah, and as soon as it's going back down, your woofer starts going crazy. Like crazy. And I remember when I first ran into that, I was like, whoa. Like, whoa, 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 what the hell? I was like, why is it doing that? Like, whoa. And that's when I figured out what A and C was. And so in some vehicles you can actually find the A and C module and either unplug it or cut the uh cut the mic. Okay. But obviously you don't want to cut it too short because later on down the road, if you want to connect it back, you can just solder it back. But in some vehicles you can, some vehicles it's harder to find. So that's why they make A and C filters. ANC filters and you can connect that to the RCA and that actually suppresses the sound and you don't hear it. Wow. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool, but sometimes if they don't work, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Um, sometimes they don't work. Yeah, on some vehicles, yeah. you're probably still always going to hear just a little bit, huh? Uh-huh. Just, just a little bit always. Example, we have a vehicle here. It's a Ram. And Party. that one has engine noise. It's not ANC. It's more of the engine noise side. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, that one, I think we're going to re, uh, redo all the wiring on it and probably a new amp because it could be the amp that causing the issue. Didn't I say that's what we should do in the morning? I called it. When we were <laughs> driving over here, I was like, I think I'm Barney's, which I don't even know if his name is Barney or Randy, mm -hmm. but he told me Barney. Shout out to him. Shout out to Barney. There you go. They call him Barney? They do call him Barney. Yeah, yeah, I, I knew it. Right. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> you're right. There you go. Shout out Barney if you're watching there this. There you go, Barney. What up, buddy? <laughs> oh, yeah. I called it. Are you driving over here? And I was like, I think we should redo everything to fix that sound. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, honestly, I think it might be the amp, too. Because the four channel he has in there is a boss. I'm not, I'm not trying to throw shade on boss. Boss is good because we used to have the elite. But for the subs, and they push really, really well. Yeah. Um, but it just, it, it just looks like an older amplifier, like from back then. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. So it could just be that. It could maybe a newer one. Maybe a newer boss would help out. So yeah, you yeah, never yeah. know. You know what I mean? So it's like, <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get it figured out. Yeah. We we figured out his, his Hummer, which is nice. I ain't going to lie. That Hummer is beautiful. Which I think was probably harder. The Hummer? Dude, the Hummer to do the four channel was hard. Me and Freddie were in there struggling. He could uh, We couldn't even fit our hands through the cup holder. Like, he could barely. Mm -hmm. We had to go through the backside, and I was trying to hold the amp down for him while he was screwing it. And, yeah, bro. Because it's a custom box. Yeah. And you can't even take out the custom box. The amps are in the, the custom, custom box. box. Yeah. That's the crazy part. But it's a nice truck overall. I like it. Yeah. Honestly. It's I want really a wild nice one. No, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hummers were my dream truck when I was little back in the days. Oh, it was for me, too. Back then? That's back my then. dream truck. A Hummer. I don't know. I think, you know why? Because it was the only truck that I saw Chucky drive. Uh, when he ran over yeah, yeah, that yeah. girl. Uh, Britney Spears. Spears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he, when he hits her over, over, and then he's just. I thought it was so gangster it was that guy. He was he was whipping it. Oh, yeah. The guy that played Ray Ray. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was driving the Hummer and stuff like that. Yeah. I feel you. Now, that's me. I don't know. I don't know what my favorite cars were back then. Cause I wasn't. It's weird. Cause back then, I wasn't really into cars a lot. I, I mean, I always liked the Chargers. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. But now, it's like 
now that I understand the game more, I, I like different vehicles. Now. The, the the Chargers are nice. Yeah. They sound good. They're fun. They're fun toys. But I don't want to say that I'm a race head. I don't race in the streets anymore. You know, that's illegal now. So I don't do that anymore. So I props now. So <laughs> no, but in, in all seriousness, though, I think Chevy's the way to go, bro. And people, people might have other opinions. Stuff. Yeah, people might have, have other opinions. Like Freddie. Freddie, for example, likes Subarus. He likes the JDM stuff. Yep. And you and I like more like the American muscle side. You know what I mean? And Gilbert, he's had American muscle, and now he's on foreign or yeah. European, I should say, Mercedes. Mm -hmm. So it's like people have different tastes for their own reasons. And I don't know. I just like, I like muscle cars in general. But I have seen JDMs. Just flat out, just gap yeah. in American muscle vehicle. You know what I mean? So it's, oh my. it's crazy. Yeah. I feel like um, if you want to build a truck or a vehicle, probably get a Chevy or something. Mm -hmm. But if you want to buy something that's fast already, get it like a Dodge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do they make a new, like, a 2022 Dodge Viper? They do. Know. Well, no, no, no. Not uh, the 2022. I think the most newest one, if like I'm not 19, mistaken. No? Yeah, it's like an 18, 19. It's the Viper, and then they have the Viper ACR. They must be rare. I didn't even notice how rare they were because I'm yeah, those are rare. Yeah, they're, they're really rare. Where? Rare. Rare. <laughs> rare. <laughs> yeah, they are rare, though. If you look it up, they have one on uh, for sale, and I think I looked it up last time. It's a quarter of a million dollars. $250,000. $250,000 for that car. Damn. It's the ACR version, so you got the big wing. And it's just mm, like the updated version, nice, you know huh? what I mean? And they're nice, bro. I've seen videos of people who who throw, like, some twin turbos on them, and they get ridiculous numbers, bro. At first, I, it's crazy because I saw different videos. The first video I saw, this guy has a Viper with the, um, what kind of transmission is that? The one that? Uh, sequential. Yeah, sequential. He has, just, yeah, he has a sequential. And his title said, my 1,800 horsepower Viper. I was like, damn, 1,800 horses, that's a lot. And I watched that video, and I saw how fast that was. And then I scrolled down, and right underneath that one, it said 2,200 horsepower Viper. Whole different Viper. Mm. I was like, what? And I click on that one. And then the next one said 2,500. The the, yeah, the most that I saw on one was 3,300 horses on a Viper. And they call it Kratos. The reason why they call it Kratos is gray, but it has, right. like, the red, and, the red and black stripe. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they call it Kratos. That thing is fast, bro. It's fast. Like, it lines up with twin turbo Huracans, Lambos, and it just gaps them like nothing. It's, it's crazy, bro. Yeah. It's crazy. I wouldn't want to drive 300, 3,300 horsepower vehicle. I think vehicle, fun, bro. bro. I even hear about the people that have, like, 1,000 horsepower. They yeah. can't really have fun. They don't like it. Imagine three. You're probably bro, like for example, a, a YouTuber that you may know, Boosted Lucky. Yeah. He has a Challenger. It's a Hellcat. 426 block, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Pushing over 1,000, a sorry. And he said it recently, I think, on one of his videos. I don't know if it was on YouTube or just a short or Instagram. I'm not sure. Um, but he did say he was like, I'm kind of missing the uh, the 800 yeah. horses because the 1,000 is just not it. He was saying it's boring. Yeah. And it's crazy because you would think, like, the more horsepower, like, the more fun and intense it'll be because you're going fast. But at the same time, it makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you have all those other cars that they – modify and they literally do the whole track in like three seconds <laughs> like where's the fun in that yeah. like you just started and you're already done like what the <laughs> hell like no I, I would like to experience it you know like the track i've never really have gone down a track like that i want to experience i want to i want to experience it. it it's nice like when we went to the convoy showdown yeah. few years back that was mm -hmm. clean bro i remember i went in there was I, nice. I was sitting next to beto and he was gonna race the scat pack oh and they got you out they got me out Right yeah. there. I even went in the back seat so they don't see me. Yeah. But then they were like, roll your windows down. And then I was just right there. <laughs> like, yeah, we can't have no passengers. <laughs> Damn. That's crazy. That, it would have been it. cool, though, if they would have let you in there. Yeah. I don't know. It would have been cool. Well, I don't know why they don't. It adds more weight. Yeah. And I think it's just like a safety thing, too. Fine. In case, yeah, like, it's definitely have, a safety thing. In case you do crash or whatever. But I remember he raced... Uh, he raced the Tundra, I think. Yeah, the lifted-ass Tundra. Yeah, the lifted-ass yeah, Tundra. Yeah, lifted -ass tundra. yeah he, he raced that thing. And I think he let the Tundra go first. 
Or they left nah, at the same he, time. He, he went at the same time. He showed no remorse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just took off. Oh, no. That skate packs fast, dude. Oh uh, yeah. I got to drive it a few Fuck. times. I got to drive it a few times. It was fast. Fast just let car me car swing shit. it and race a couple cars in it. Yeah. Oh yeah, Freddie stuff. So, um, <laughs> what do you not like to troubleshoot? Uh, <laughs> so back to like a conversation from like thirty minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sidetrack. I'll probably say like radios. Radios. That's yeah. a good one too, bro. Well, for example. I know you're about to say this probably. Mercedes. I'm going to let you talk about that. Go we ahead. had a Mercedes. Fuck that Mercedes. That's all I got to say. <laughs> we were doing a Alpine ILX W650 on it. Mm-hmm. And then. That's a radio? This, yeah. yeah. No, I lied. It's not that one. I don't know. The no, name. it was an Alpine. It's IN, like a nine, the it was the IND. Range. The pop something. Out? No, no, no. It, it, had, a, it had its own. Built-in um, GPS. Yeah, built-in GPS. It has, like, a lot of stuff. Expensive like, radio. Oh, bro. I know which one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The gray one? That one. Mm-hmm. We did that one. And then we put, like, a piece from Metro that they sell. But I guess it wasn't, like, good. I don't know if it was. I don't want to say good enough. It's just that the data of the vehicle didn't work too well. Mm-hmm. We were working on it for, like, I want to say five days, maybe. Just trying to troubleshoot it. Give or take. He is not lying. That is that like is so three true. or four days. On and the I th- phone with and I think the I think what the problem was know. is that with those vehicles, <laughs> my bad. With those vehicles, they they run through fiber optics. Yeah, and that's literally how you get signal. Same thing with the beamers. Yeah, so, that's how you get signal f- to your speakers. So if the fiber optics unplugged, you're not gonna get no signal. Your radio might not even come on, which is crazy. How they did all that, you know, that's just German engineering at its finest, bro. You so remember like, that one beamer crazy. that we did, a blue one, ah. that uh, we did the door speakers on it, and mm. um, when we put it on, it wasn't working, and then we had to troubleshoot a little bit deeper, and it was just one little fiber cable, and it was underneath off. the driver, underneath the driver. Yeah, I remember yeah, that yeah. one. And it that, wasn't even on the door speaker, right? <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't even behind the radio because that yeah. was already plugged in, and we were trying to figure out what the heck. And it was underneath the driver, literally, like, right at the bottom. You know how you could pull those panels off? Mm, There's a yeah. fiber optic there, too. <clears throat> and we had to throw a jumper on it. Mm-hmm. And we didn't even know. Like, what? Yeah. But it's crazy. That is true. What about for you? For me, it's definitely going to have to be on the suspension side. Oh, yeah. I do a little <laughs> bit of suspension so you can see how dirty I am. Shout out, Dylan. Shout out, Dylan. Why? That was a, that was a good day. What happened? No, it wasn't. <laughs> we were on his truck for a while. Oh, God. I forgot about him. No, nah, yeah. I don't want to talk about that one. <laughs> um, hey, we were on there for a while, though. Man, that was wow. What time did we leave that day? At 12? Bro, it was Probably. late. It was oh, y'all late. Have... We left a little bit earlier because at that point, yeah. I mean, we couldn't really do yeah. much. You know, we couldn't do much. We had, to, we had to take a step back and then regroup and refresh. Then, yeah. We're that stressing that. on that truck. You know what's another hard, another good oh, one? But yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Suspensions. Um, it's hard. I mean, troubleshooting ones. <laughs> um, yeah, the hard, the annoying part is when I just got done doing like a nine or ten inch lift kit, and then I go take it for a test spin, and then you just hear like one thing clinking. <laughs> oh my! And yeah. then now you got to see what's clinking out of everything you just put on. Yeah. You don't know how annoying that is? You uh, know how many know. things it could be? Yeah. And then they always be the easiest. <laughs> it's the like easiest the, thing, The bro. smallest thing, right? Like the smallest it thing ever, the, It's right? always the easiest thing. That's it's what funny. sucks. That's, yeah. No, I agree with you on that. I, I was going to say another another one that we could all agree on. Alignments. On.